Assassin's Creed Netflix series, Animatrix style, I'm quite sure. Stay tuned to find out my theories on why. What's up guys, Manic Assassin. So there looks like there are many theories online of where this series could go, many fan wants, many different things. Honestly, the best way that I can get down to this straight to the point. Have you guys ever seen the Matrix series? It is an old one from back in the 90s. If you're a movie buff, I'm quite sure that you've seen it before. For those that are 100% out of the loop though. Now the Matrix is a series Made by the Wachowskis back in 1999, I believe, is when the first movie came out. Along the line through the series, they released what was known as the Animatrix series. Now, this was a compilation of various different animation styles, including anime, digital art, as well as even a video game franchise. Now, what does that mean for Assassin's Creed? Seeing as how with some of my past reports, I'll leave links in the description down below if you haven't seen those videos, we see how the director of the Assassin's Creed movie actually had a lot of different footage that he was saving to be able to make the second and the third installment in that series. Now, when Fox acquired those rights, they put a nix on the entire thing. That was actually still going to be going through. There's a lot of footage that they could reuse. In a past report that I found with Justin Kurz, the director of Assassin's Creed movie, he actually states that they plan on working with Netflix in conjunction with this upcoming series. Really cool report. Make sure to check that out in the description down below if you haven't seen it yet. My theories on this are that Justin Kurzel is working in conjunction with the Netflix company in order to try and bring some of this footage back into fruition. What does that mean? Now, are we going to be receiving nothing but information on Aguilar and different parts of time that have to do with the Spanish Inquisition? Not necessarily as much. I don't believe that that's where the series would go. There are a lot of different characters in the series that we're planning on being in this sequel that weren't really shed light on. I'll go ahead and include a little clip from one of the deleted scenes so that you can see who one of those characters were. Now, other than that, it does look like they are going to be doing an Assassin's Creed manga for part of the series as well. Being as we have received so many different reports on where this series will go, it does look to me like they may just be expanding on the ending of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now, if you haven't played through that whole game, I'll go ahead and leave a timestamp for when you can get past this tiny little spoiler that I have for you here. Alright, now that that's out of the way, for those hardcore fans that are up to date on the series, at the end of the game, they come to find that they can start try to find an answer to this end of the world theory through exploring past memories that didn't come to pass. So what if Desmond Miles did give up? What if he decided to let the world burn and then they found an answer for the world ending later on in their alternate reality. My theories on this is that the Netflix series could quite possibly just be an expanding of that. Now, this is going to be an interesting thing because Assassin's Creed could take this any way they want and it still would be canon. They can even make up their own history now. They have officially made it legitimate to be able to change the story in whichever way they want, and it actually works. I'm really surprised. I was against this happening with the series from the very beginning, whenever people wanted to go into the future, whatever it may be. But this would allow you to have that, and it still makes sense with the lore, still makes sense with the Animus tech, still makes sense with all of that. Now, for those of you who feel like it doesn't make sense with the Animus tech, the main reason why most people misconceive that notion is simply because of the fact that they don't understand that we are not even using the Animus anymore. 
We actually have not used that version of the Animus since Assassin's Creed Black Flag. It converted over to the Phoenix Project as well as various different forms. These were different types of Animus and they function all differently. Now, Layla Hassan's technology, the reason why we were able to switch genders in the game is because we happen to find that she has developed technology that can simulate theories. So it doesn't even need to be a real reality in order for her to use it. Sort of like how the legends of all these alternate universes like Hades and all these different places like Hell and so on and so forth were able to exist and coexist in the same reality. I'll do a follow-up video on this to try and make a little bit more sense of it and speak a little bit more fluently for you, as what I'm doing right now is actually completely off script, and I'm sure I can go much more in depth to make it make sense. Hit that notification bell if you want notifications on that. Anyhow, spoilers over. Now, being as we have found that with Valhalla and their ending, it looks like we could be creating multiple different forms of history that we could be exploring and taking hint on. With that in conjunction with the multiple different confirmations of different actors or voice actors or them stating that this Assassin's Creed series is going to be a manga or whether it's going to be a live action. Me personally, I feel like it would make much more sense to split up your eggs and not put them all in the same basket. Assassin's Creed and especially Justin Kurzel in that interview, he has learned that that is where they went wrong. They tried to put in too much history in one tiny little segment and it made no sense to the people that were new to the series as well as it was just a watered down version of the story for the ones that are hardcore fans because of it. By splitting it up into multiple seasons and giving the fans different takes on the manga, sort of like how the Matrix series did with their Animatrix series, you can explore the side lore and really really that's where the thick of it is in this story. As we all know, the side lore is really where you get to know all the characters and all the background, so it looks like they may be going back to that. Now, is this a good idea for Assassin's Creed? Yes, I do think so. Let me know in the comments down below if you disagree. I'd love to hear why. So, the top ideas for where this series could go. What are my ideas? What are my theories? What are my concerns? Me personally, I feel like they will absolutely touch ground on a Xiaojun storyline because so many people love that character. The fans are really anticipating a female protagonist and a lot of people are in favor of that at the moment. So that to me is more than likely going to be a definite yes. Ezio Auditore, I don't necessarily think they would touch on him. Maybe an expansion of his story, like maybe even highlighting something that happened with his brother while he was in his training, or more expanded lore on Giovanni Auditore. You never know. It could be very well within reach, especially with the ways that they did their earlier on fan fiction film that they made, where every single set piece was green screen. Most definitely, they will touch on Aguilar's story as they have so much of that already filmed. They've invested money into that. They've already paid those actors, those stunt performers, and all of that. They want to make sure that they use that and make good functionality of it. As well as Justin Kurzel felt like if this would have been a series rather than a movie, it definitely would have been able to give them room to be able to stretch their legs and flush out the story a little bit more. Now, as we have seen with the Witcher series, a lot of people thought that would not go well. It actually went extremely well. And if any of my fans were fans of the Matrix series, let me know in the comments down below if you were. We did see that the Matrix series actually did flush out the story quite a bit. You receive a lot of different information in that, and it wasn't even just digital, it wasn't even just film, it was multiple different avenues of exploring this lore through the context of comic books, through the context of 
digital novels, through the context of actual novels. They even still release things today. It was one of the highest grossing franchises in our history, and it only makes sense to me that they would try to take a little bit of their knowledge and how they handled that series and put it into functionality. Me personally, I would love to see an expansion on the Maria modern day story through the Assassin's Creed movie. Now, most of you do not know who that character was. She was actually the one that regressed and experienced the memories of Maria back in the Spanish Inquisition and was partners with Aguilar as well as his mentor. My concerns are that the Netflix series and the co-producers and all that, they put too much focus into trying to get new fans into this. Just keep the ones that we have. Trust that people can learn the story on their own. If they want to learn the lore, they will play the game and just expand more on the story. Tell a good story. If you can take the element of the assassin out of it and it's still a good story, run with it. So guys, what do you think? What are your theories down below? Make sure to let me know what assassins you want to see come back to this series. And hey, please let me know the reasons why. I really, really want to see more comments coming into my channel. It really helps me out and it gives me an idea of what kind of topics you guys like. So don't just leave a like, don't just leave a dislike. I don't even care about the notification bell. Please comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. I'm extremely excited for this series to come out and I hope that you guys are too. When a release date comes out, I will be announcing it first and foremost here. Looks like it's going to be the very end of 2021 towards the beginning of 2022. So it could be the next expansion in the story in itself. That's everything that I have for you guys today. Just a small little take on my theories on this. I'm going to go ahead and include some more clips here at the end if it's not the full 10 minute video so that I can appease the YouTube algorithm gods and we can try to keep these videos channeling to your feed. Have a great day, guys. Man Assassin. Is this the life of a hidden one? Always on the move? No. Mine is not the usual path. The creed does travel. Our ideals are universal. 